Have you ever heard of something called a PLC, but wonder what it is and what it does? PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller. That's a fancy way of saying it's a small computer used to automatically control various processes and components in an industrial system. For the sake of comparison, let's use a process that's manual as an example. Think of a PLC like a brain controlling a finger on the trigger of an applicator. The brain sends a signal to the finger, directing it to pull the trigger so something is dispensed. When the brain wants the finger to stop pulling the trigger, it sends another signal, so the dispensing ends. Let's add some more pieces to the puzzle to further illustrate what we're talking about. Like some people's brains, a PLC can multitask and it's lightning fast. So to expand on our manual example, while the brain controls the finger on the trigger, it's also controlling the eyes. The eyes would be like a scanner reading a barcode in a PLC controlled system. Think of the scanners you've seen at your local grocery store. And like a scanner, the eyes read and signal something to the brain. In this case, that the dispense is complete, and then again, instantly, signaling back from the brain to the finger to stop pulling the trigger. So what does a PLC do in Graco terms, you might ask? Well, in Graco terms, a PLC can control many inputs and outputs, like direct a paint line to change colors. So all the widgets being painted go from red to maybe black. A PLC can both talk and listen, and it can communicate with Graco's products via a communication protocol or discrete IOs. IO stands for inputs and outputs. The communications protocols include, for example, Ethernet IP, DeviceNet, Modbus TCP, Profinet, and many others. Think of these ways of communicating as languages or sets of rules that define these languages. The discrete I.O. includes both digital and analog signals. A discrete system uses a digital signal to communicate. The easiest way to think about this is the signal used in a simple light switch. When the switch is flipped one way, the light is on. When it's flipped the other way, the light's off. On or off, that's it. Analog, on the other hand, is more like a dial with a range of values instead of just on or off, and it has to be converted to digital or digitized. Say there was an amplifier with a range that went from 1 to 11 hooked up to an electric guitar. When setting the dial at 1, the guitar is quiet. At 11, it's really loud. But unlike digital, with its on or off only, the amplifier can be turned to 2, 3, 4, etc. to control the volume in a range. In fact, that's how a Graco electric circulation pump works, with a dial to control its speed over a range. Let's do another, more involved, Graco-ized example that continues to build on our color change story. Here we have a proportioner, pumps, gun, scanner, and robot. The PLC, or brain, monitors the entire system telling the components to go on and off in the correct order and for the correct amount of time. So the pump is pumping the material, the proportioner is measuring and mixing it, and the finger on the gun trigger is now on the end of the robot arm. The batch of widgets coming down the conveyor on hangers are all getting a nice red coating of paint. But now, a barcode moves in front of the scanner. The scanner reads the barcode, 
signaling the PLC to change the color to black for the next batch of widgets. The PLC says OK and starts the process to change the system to black by sending out the correct signals for that color. But when we said multitasking, we really meant multitasking. Because the PLC brain is monitoring color, flow, parts, pressure, ovens, fans, filters, alarms, and much more. Kind of like walking and chewing gum at the same time, cubed. So why do we use PLCs? Well, we've been hinting at it all along. Remember we said that a PLC can control all kinds of systems and components in that system all at the same time? Not to mention the fact that they are extremely accurate, fast, and can consistently repeat a process over and over and oh, you get the idea. Contrast this level of control with an individual painter. While there are advantages and disadvantages to both, even the most highly skilled likely can keep up to the level of accuracy of the PLC controlled system. Plus, the PLC isn't going to make adjustments in the system on its own and say, turn up the flow rate on the sprayer without asking. Finally, what can this level of automation do for you as a Graco customer? The kind of control we're talking about can give you the precision you need to save material, lessen rework, and just plain save you money, cash, lettuce, moolah, greenbacks. Enough said, enough said.